What's going on everybody? You know the drill. I'm Chris with Flip the World. That's the Goodwill Bins. Let's go inside and find some treasure that we can flip for profit. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We got a big surprise at the end of this video. No, it's not to tell you how much money we're gonna make. It's even bigger. Let's get inside. Oh man. Went to the desk lamp cell. Heavy as hell though, but they do sell very well. If you can find a brand, especially like a German brand, I'm gonna pass on this one because it's way too heavy, but they're always awesome to see. Oh, you show sure is stupid. Right, we've got a mirror, seven and a half, Seattle, uh, 2010 Lady Antebellum Tour shirt. I see a Simpson shirt. Oh, yes. It's a reprint, but. That's a keeper for the kids. I got this Sanders jersey, but it looks like it's is that paint. That actually might come off, but I want to pass on it. No way I just found Bebe's kids. That, oh my God, that's so awesome. That's probably gonna be a personal. <laughs> I can't believe I found it. We don't die, we multiply. All right, so two things caught my eye on this bin. First, this O'Neill wetsuit it's the full-on wetsuit it's a very popular brand wetsuits are not cheap and this is an adult size so we're going to go ahead and look that one up and then secondly i know it's just the bag but lululemon bags actually sell between 10 and 15 bucks so i'm going to get this and just look it up and show you guys here in a second but these bags actually sell by themselves now if i can only find a freaking cart that's guy just acquired I'm just gonna walk away with it. Ooh. Yeah, they're all destroyed. Camo M NMDs. Got a big old gas power three deeter. Stacy brought me these like really detailed leather. The brand is Van Eli. Van Eli. It's V A N E L I. These are like slip-on driving loafers, women's, made in Brazil. Um, I mean, they go for like $24.99 to $40. Bucks. These are in great condition. I love how they're hand-tooled. But there's 57 sold and 358 listings, so the sold comps are pretty low. But man, these are like really nice. Uh, I think that I'm going to ignore the sold comps on these just because the ones that I'm seeing sold don't have the detail that these do. And I think for the bins, it's worth getting even if they sell for like 25 bucks. Because you can put these in a flat rate bubble mailer. Came across this Boathouse Sports. Boathouse is actually a very good brand. Made in the USA, as you can see. These sell for a lot of money. The only problem is it's Seven Lake yeah. Spartans. And I have no idea what team that is. So I need to do some research. But the jacket itself is in really good condition. And usually, I mean, these these sell for 50 plus. I mean, I know like the Princeton ones are gonna be like 140 or whatever, but I just need to look up and see what Seven Lakes is and see how small of a niche or how small of a sports league or team that is. But Boathouse Sports is actually a very good brand. Seven Lakes is actually a high school here in Katy, which is just outside of Houston. So this is actually gonna be probably a Facebook Marketplace sale easily 40 45 maybe more hello can i give you some nightmares some goggles that have a camera right there so you can record all scheme zeal optics i look that up just found these columbia pfg omni shield board shorts these go for about 25 30 bucks these are in really good condition cool colorway got like a nice little sun fade on them almost looks like a, a refreshing beer with a, a head at the top so i'm gonna go ahead and pick those up new rows coming out and we'll keep it moving got some white crocs crocs you can actually wash in the washing machine i'm sorry the dishwasher i don't know if you guys will wear that giant Gore-Tex. you see that these are actually hh brown if you're unfamiliar this is a very good brand these might actually be vintage but Gore-Tex means automatic we've already done the bin test on them 
big old pair of all birds. Toe just been rubbed down, whatever this material is, that metal on, metalline or whatever. But push it clean right up. And then a pair of the uh, Converse, I don't know what this back's called, like an elastic stretchy. These oxy bath those. And then she's got some awesome stuff up here that I put aside. This is a extreme weather military trouser. This stuff usually sells for about 65. Military stuff sells pretty well. A 2011 just Harley shirt on a Harley tag. It's the number one, it's probably their most popular logo. Again, 2011, it's not vintage, but these usually sell pretty well. It's got a nice little back print. Indianapolis, it's got the logo. And then this is unbelievable. You see that single stitch? I'll show you the back first. You see 1986. Ain't misbehaving tour 1986. That is a Hank Williams Jr. single stitch. Can't post on Instagram because that flag's offensive now. Um, easy way to get your account banned. Oh wait, I already am. Uh, but this shirt should probably bring, if I can get those stains out, which I'm almost a thousand percent certain I can. For a collector, probably 100, 125. This is insane that she found this. I don't even know what the hell these are, but they got two of them here. Looks like some kind of bing shite. Sounds like a just said a cuss word. Bing shite. It's like freezers for like ice cream or something. Com commercial grade. Got those at the bins. Jurassic World with tags. Yeah, I'm getting that. Boom, just doubled up. Two of them. Different kinds. This is a really cool vintage Penn State sweatshirt. But it's got blood all over it. And I do not believe that's going to be something you can oxy out just because of the amount of it. But man, this thing is so thin. Really cool piece, but I just don't know. That's, even for OxyClean, that's, that's an excessive amount of work. But you can see it's single stitch uh, I'm gonna get it it's the bins might as well try this is a Buckeyes 2002 Big Ten undefeated champions it's 2001 no today's this is 2022 oh this is technically vintage now so that's cool I was gonna say I'm gonna hold on to this till next year and it'll be vintage but we're in 2022 so this is officially vintage nice Scored a retro Astros jersey. This was like a stadium give out, but they still sell for like 25 bucks. And then just a general, genuine merchandise, uh, women's like tank top. Again, all the Astro stuff is on Marketplace, 20, 25, sometimes 30 bucks. A few things that I'm going to try and stick in people's carts, as you know, that is my new favorite thing to do. Unattended cart. All right. Praise be with Jesus. So they're either getting smarter here, or somebody told them that I'm the one doing it because I got caught trying to put this in somebody's cart. So now everybody knows. Found a pair of kids area, and I think they're kids. Yeah, US size 4. So, even with the fronts looking, you can still leather clean and make those look a lot better. And the bottoms are good. You know, see that says Polo? Y'all ever seen Polo make Aladdin shoes? I can give you, I can show you, I can show you the world. Depeche Mode tape. And a Depeche Mode tape. People are people. Probably gonna keep that. This thing is freaking creepy. This has to be something. This has to be something. We're gonna look this up. I want it to be something. It's a lamp. Yeah. Yeah. It's creepy. 
<laughs> I like creepy. You like creepy? No, I like it. So Telco Motionet Troll. Boom. $150 plus $68.35 shipping. $80 plus $30. Oh yeah, that's a score. I'm gonna plug it up, see if it works. I told you, something that creepy has to be worth money. I just want y'all to see that this creepy thing works. Which makes it even more creepier. Most creepiest. I don't know, it works. Some slalom, extra large black ski bibs. These are about 25, 35 dollars good condition we're waiting on a new row to come out so that's pretty much what we're doing is just kind of hanging out waiting for them to come they're actually clearing it right now so this was all we got from that last shoe row that just came out now we got to go through and see what's keep and what's good but when you're in the when you're in the thralls of battle you just grab and then we go through and then of course stacy brought this hideous troll to try and compete with my troll find she brings this far less superior troll that I'm gonna jump back. So they're not the, the tall ones, these look like they flip back and then they're two-sided, pink on the inside. Converse, she's on the hunt for this one. We only got one, but there's a couple other shoe resellers here, so we might have a standoff. Um, Air Max Defy Run. Those are in good shape. That's a nice one. Chucks. I don't know if these are supposed to have smiling faces or if someone painted that. No. It's yellow inside. Those are supposed to be like that. Stacy grabbed these Piccolinos, but the back is pretty beat on them. I'm gonna look them up just because they're Piccolinos, but probably gonna pass on them. This is an awesome sport. We should grab this Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting Elton John hat. Still has the cardboard inside. I mean, that's kind of like my life motto. Saturday Night is All Right for Fight. But this should sell if I don't keep it. Some more of those Croc uh, like loafer shoes. Looks like somebody walked on the heel. But yeah. Lots to go through. And then up here we got some more. We got a lot of chucks or converse. Stacy just brought me this really clean North Face. Never stop exploring. Cool graphic print on the front, 1968. Not a ton of money, but it's an awesome shirt. Maybe 15, 20. The, uh, 2003 or four, it's pretty blurry. Three, 2003 Old Friends, Simon and Garfunkel, Comfort Color shirt. Again, I'm a sucker for music tees, especially like band tees or something like that. Uh, this will be vintage next year, so it's probably, you know, 2025. So I just opened this up. It is actually complete. New in box. Everything's in there. It's still got all the, the tags and the, the safety film on it. It looks like it sells for about $23.99. I mean, that one sold for 49 That's weird. But there's 30 bucks, so about 25 to 30 bucks. Not a bad score. And off camera, Stacy just handed me some, you guessed it, Twisted X. These are little kid chuckas. These are awesome. Love Twisted X. Stacy just brought these Boost 19s. And of course she found a Star Wars Black Series, whatever the hell this is. I just scanned it. 1650 plus seven, 25, 25. Box is kind of beat, but that's cool. And I think that's gonna be a wrap for today. As I'm getting in line, Stacy hands me this for real friends unicorn. I think the next broke up. I don't know. Maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. But what's funny is the unicorn itself sells for like $12.99 plus shipping. I mean, shipping was $34, $39.99. But this little fairy thing, 
actually sells for $30 by itself. 30 plus shipping, 28 plus shipping, 31 free shipping. So that is pretty crazy. So we'll get that. What's up y'all, back at the house. If you hear yelling, it's the kids across the street. I'm trying to drown them out. I think I paused on drowned there. I'm trying to drown them, but I'm gonna just drown them out. But let's get into it. So we got a lot of shoes today. As you can see, I just kind of stacked them because we have a lot more other stuff, but I'm gonna go through the shoes first. So we got six pair of different colors and sizes of Converse. Actually, I have seven, but these are like the, the fold-in ones. Got four pairs of Crocs, like regular Crocs, and then a pair of Crocs sandals on top. I have never seen these Brooks before. They're called Hyperion, Brooks Hyperion, HFST. Uh, probably an older model, but pretty awesome. You saw Twisted X Kids. Got some more Crocs here. Stacy found some Ofos. These actually sell for like 49, 50 bucks plus shipping. Those Val Eli, those hand-tooled mules, so the driving mules that I picked up. Uh, again, the sell-through is not on there, but I really think because of the hand tooling and then the leather made in Brazil, we should be able to get about 25 bucks for that. Some white Adidas. Sorry for the sun going down. We've got kids screaming, sun going down. This is going to be a great video, Chris. These vintage Disney Minnie Mouse uh, sandal slide thingies. Again, you saw the Reebok. The Allbirds. Those are the TDs. It's the Ariat Kid Boots. Got some Uggs. Sorry, Uggs. Moron! Some Dance Go. Just sold a pair just like this. Got the Orange Vans. Some Boosts. Some Air Max. These are like 2016. And then those HH Brown Gore-Tex Boots. So we got 27 pairs of shoes. Guys, if you average that we're gonna get $25 a pair, which obviously we're gonna get more for the area, we're gonna get more for the Allbirds, we're gonna get more for the Ofos, we're gonna get more for the HH Brown, the Air Max, the Boost, and the Dansko. But let's just say 25 across the board. That alone is $675. All right, so let's move on to the clothes. Actually, you know what? Let's get these two weird things out. So you already saw the troll from the bins. It does work. That's gonna be like 150 plus shipping, so right? The last one sold, as you saw, for 150 plus shipping. The shipping, I think, was like 60 bucks, so maybe like 200, 210. Uh, it's missing a little bear, but I still think I should be able to get probably, you know, close to 200 bucks. And then you saw the for real friends that has the 30 dollar berry with it. So I'm going to test it. If it works, we'll sell it together. Probably 70, 75 bucks, maybe 60. But let's get through the clothes. First up, these vintage. Olga women's undergarments um, vintage undergarments there's a huge following for them and Olga is actually a very good brand these sell for around 20 to 25 bucks and as you know they probably weigh maybe two ounces so easy to ship this is that vintage uh, I think it's GI sports what is it gear sports gear for sports this is a 3M 1992 worldwide sponsor Olympic Games jacket. If you look up gear for sports jackets, even with embroidery, they sell 35 to 100 bucks just depending on what the, the actual brand is or the patch. So got this vintage Orvis. As you know, we got that pair of Orvis pants from our last video, like men's jacket vest thingy. Uh, they look like they sell for around 35 40 bucks This is a pair of the Slalom bibs 35 40 bucks. These are those military um, Extreme weather bibs these go for around 65 70 dollars And then the last thing was this O'Neill It is a flat side stitched exoflex 3000 X it's about, it's a women's um, full wetsuit, long sleeve. Goes for about 80 to $100. That's the big stuff. And then we can go over to the shirts. So I probably shouldn't have folded these. This is a vintage 2000 Cohidden Cambria shirt. It is actually on the Hanes heavyweight tag. This right here sells for probably about 40 bucks. Have a 
vintage three days grace shirt this is probably about 25 bucks i want to say this is the lady antebellum shirt from 2010 that's probably about 15 20 dollars 2003 simon and garfunkel on on that comfort colors tag got the north face north face shirt nothing flashy about that this is the vintage buckeyes ohio state 2002 champion shirt just the plain jane harley tag indianapolis 2010 i think 2011 a pair of carhartt relaxed shorts these usually go for around 25 bucks a pair of polo ralph lauren men's jeans great condition we usually sell those around 28 to 30 dollars and then of course the columbia pfg board shorts these go for about 20 dollars so for the clothing we're looking right around um what i did is i kind of just average everything out so i think on the clothing it's 14 items potential profit is around 450 dollars for everything and we have 11 hard goods or you know two hats we got the the fitted seattle new era this is an elton john saturday's on that right for fighting so these are usually around 20 to 25 a vintage pet harley davidson denim hat that's a uh, i think the last one sold for right at 15. this is a ge cd player alarm clock these sell for around 30. I got this as a joke, but the Depeche Mode People Are People cassette from 1984 actually sells for about 12 bucks. The Lulumon small reusable shopping bag. This is actually like a Sasquatch. It's a limited one that came out, but it should be about 12 bucks. The super suit for the GoPro. This new inbox Star Wars toy is about 20. The mask, as you saw, it's like 2002 mask. This will probably be around 20 bucks. This vintage powder puff girls plate sells for about $15. Uh, as you know, I sold those Hercules McDonald's plates already. So plates, vintage plates actually sell. And this cool little thing, the recording, basically like a GoPro goggles for snowboarders. These actually sell upwards of a hundred bucks, but I think with the condition, this is probably gonna go for in the 40 to $60 range so all together for all the hard good stuff i think we're looking around 175 to 200 dollars how i could forget these two jurassic park masks this one doesn't have a tag this one has a new with tags this goes for about 30 this one without the tag probably about 25 i know it's new but without the tag you can't sell it as new so there's another potential like 55 60 bucks to add to the pot so right at 58 items sourced today spent a total of 193 dollars and 30 cents i think that comes out to like three dollars and 33 cents per item but here's the kicker this is that magic that i was telling you about at the beginning of the video these 44 items shoes all the clothes the electronics the gopro all of it we're going to just put in a box and sell to anybody that wants it as a reseller box it's not a mystery because you saw what we got you know what the comps are going to the bins every week and, and getting a haul is awesome but we're getting a lot of stuff that's not really something that we want to sell based off of where our profit margins need to be now obviously we're going to keep the troll and you know the the unicorn thing and um out of the 58 items i can tell you just flat out i picked um 10 pairs of shoes, I think. And of course the troll and the doll and uh, one of the Jurassic Parks masks and then one t-shirt, the Coheed and Cambria shirt. But 44 items of the 58 is gonna go into a box and we're just going to sell it. I think we did the math, it's gonna be like $5 per item is basically what you spent. So 250 shipped and you can have all of this. I see a lot of people in the comments that are always like, oh, can Stacy source for me? Well, here's your chance. What we're gonna do is we have a Etsy store and we're just going to create the listing. It's gonna have the title from this video, probably the thumbnail, and you just click on it. It'll have the manifest and you can purchase all of it. There's 18 pairs of shoes. If you just go off $25 a pair, you're looking at 360 bucks. The clothing, including the wetsuit and the, the bibs, the military bibs, should be about 400 to $420. 
the hats obviously that's going to be like 30 bucks if you did 15 a piece and then the hard goods i think it came out to like 150 to 175 dollars once everything sells so 44 items the potential profit that you could make if you purchased this haul would be around a thousand to a thousand twenty dollars shout out to my neighbor for hammering because he knows i'm filming he's still doing it anyway i think i'm gonna have to go over there and hammer his brains out this was just a cool idea that we came up with to maybe we can be your personal shopper and you reap the benefits. You don't have to dig through anything. We've already found what we would be selling anyway, and we just pass it on to you. And again, we're still making our money. Plus the items that I kept, I should be able to make about $520 once it sells. So we're still making profit. You can make profit. We're not raking profit.com, but we are all having fun. So look for the description. I'm gonna put this lot up once I get into a box, see how much it weighs. I'm gonna put it up, Etsy. All you gotta do is clean it and list it. Like, share, subscribe. That's today's Vince Hall video. Shout out to the neighbor that babysits illegally for ruining my video. To the guy that was hammering, he's on the ground right now because I gave him the old knuckle sandwich. And we'll see you guys on the next one.